Is it possible that Wiff does a 10x this cycle? Let's discuss. Most of you guys are familiar with Dog Whiff Hat and the impressive four months that it's had since launching. But today, we're not going to be talking about the past. We're not going to be talking about the present. We're actually going to be talking about the future of the Whiff token. Dog Whiff Coin launched in November of 2023 and is a little over four months old. Dog Whiff Coin was trading around 100 to $200 million market cap until the end of February when it absolutely went parabolic and now is trading at a $3.61 billion market cap today. Last week, Dog Whiff Coin surpassed Pepe as the number three meme coin in the entire world. And earlier in March, it flipped Bonk to become the number one token that's traded on Solana. And I've liked Whiff since I found it at a $100 million market cap. I think I first found Whiff around a $20 million market cap, but I actually faded it for a little while. I didn't buy it until around a $100 million market cap. And to this day, I still have never sold a single Whiff coin. I just feel as though the future for Whiff is so bright. It has so much momentum and selling now would be selling for pennies on the dollar when it comes to the peak of the bull run. One more thing to mention before I give my thoughts on whether or not Whiff can 10x from this current price point. And keep in mind, the current price point is a $3.6 billion market cap, which means that Whiff will be trading above a $36 billion market cap after 10x. And one thing that I want to point out is something that I call the exchange effect. Whiff is literally listed on every single centralized exchange in the world except one. And that exchange is Coinbase. And I do believe there is a huge possibility that we see a Whiff to Coinbase listing here in 2024. And the major exchanges that Whiff is listed on include Binance, Gate.io, Qcoin, HTX, Kraken, Gemini, BitGet, OKX, and pretty much every single centralized exchange except Coinbase. Now, I understand a lot of us, including you that's probably watching this video, is comfortable using Phantom and the decentralized exchanges. But you have to understand a large majority of the population is not comfortable comfortable using a decentralized exchange today. So being listed on a massive amount of exchanges like Whiff is gives people a better chance to buy the project. And obviously, if more people buy the project, the price will go up. Now, all of that factors in into my 10x price prediction for Whiff and whether or not it can 10x this cycle. Now, let's take a look at Dextool. So keep in mind where my cursor is here, guys, on January 3rd into February, we're looking at 100 to $200 million range. And then this token went parabolic. We hit a billion for the first time, 2 billion for the first time, 3 billion. And we even saw a $4 billion Whiff token. And while many expert traders believe that Whiff is overvalued because it only launched about four months ago and it ran all the way up to a $4.7 billion market cap. It's a number three mean coin in the world. Let me tell you why I think it's still very undervalued. Whiff is the clear front runner on the Solana blockchain, which is arguably the best place to trade meme coins today. There is some competition. You have Avalanche, you have Ethereum, you have Base, but a lot of people are trading on the Solana blockchain compared to the other three. And I really think that people like investing in Whiff because of what it is. It is simply a dog with a hat and nothing else. It is coined as the Shiba Inu on the Solana blockchain. I believe that 2024 and into 2025 will be very, very bullish for dog with coin. That being said, I think that there is a huge possibility that we see a 10x for the WIF token and possibly trading above a $40 billion mark cap at the all-time highs in 2025. I'm bullish on the token. I believe that it has huge potential here this year. Those are just my thoughts and my thoughts only. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're watching this on Twitter at a later time, retweet it and let me know your thoughts here below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you all on the next episode.